Right, the other had to put the energizer to charge the battery again. Um, it went off suddenly back there, so I'll join these two together. There will be a bridge at one point which leads to a cemetery, but Sanford Cemetery that I usually go and have a look at when I'm on the bike. Um, I feel like I've been over here last year. I, I feel I've done the strawberry line. Um, it doesn't seem that long ago I was in there. Unless I drove there, of course. I don't think so, but you never know. If this, that is the bridge, then there's a path that runs up, up above the top there. If it's not the bridge, it'll be the next one then. So what else is happening in the world? Yes, so it's the presidential elections at some point. I think it's sometime this year, or it could be next year. I'm not sure, really, in America. Um, we've got a vote 23rd of June to, s to say whether we want to stay with the Europeans or not. And uh, I think it's... Um, Half want to, half don't. I don't. I don't really know what to do, really. Because basically, we'd give them an awful lot of money, but everything could go up anyway if we leave them. Um, for example, we might have to pay more for cars, goods. Um, we might not be entitled. We might have to pay more to go and visit those countries. There could be a lot of uh, our human rights would change. Which the Tories want, of course. They want to end our human rights. That's one of their big plans. To get rid of health and safety, basically. <sighs> they've already done so much damage. Can you imagine all the damage they've done? Um, with people not getting proper legal aid anymore and all that. Only the rich can buy the lawyers. Now here's another bridge here. Now this might be more likely to be the one that leads to the cemetery, I think. This bridge here. Remember that I've not walked this before. It's usually been done on the bike. I don't really know how shaky it's going to be. There's a bridge. All built to do with the railway, don't forget. So there would be... That black stuff up there is to do with the steam engines when they went under. The black from the coal. <sighs> yeah, I've got a feeling there's a little seat up here I quite often sit on. And um, that could be the path going up there, but if not, it'll be the next bridge. But I've got a feeling it is this one. Hear the birds? All busy. So this is a strawberry line everyone. Quite short video some of these now. And like I said it has been done on the bike. All making their nests in the hedgerows. There's the blackbirds, the noisiest birds. We're not far now, I don't think. Getting closer to. Yeah, we're getting closer to Winscombe there, look. Winscombe, Sanford, Congressbury, Cheddar. It's a local nature reserve as well, you can hear all the birdies. Isn't it beautiful? What a lovely setting, isn't it, really, if you think about it, down there. No wind, so it's not, it's picking it up. I think it'll pick it up here.
Yeah, this is it. Up here. Somebody asleep on my bench. <laughs> but down there, as you follow that path up around there, you, it, it takes you to the graveyard. <sighs> yeah, I can see shoot shelf hill from here. These have all got lovely views, these homes here, haven't they? I haven't really noticed them before because I've sort of zoomed by. They might have cut their hedges back actually so that they can see more. Just look at that view. Look at that view everyone. Of course if you go on past where I, I'm not going today you and I've done it anyway, it's already on YouTube. Um, in the earlier days before they did repairs to it, I went through the tunnel in the pitch black walking. I couldn't see a thing. They didn't even have cat's eyes on the floor in those days. And uh, it's changed a lot now. They've got, they've repaved it. There's cat's eyes, there's lights in the ceiling. It was pitch black when I went in, so I've got various videos of that. Going in at the entrance from both ends, is I've had some two creepy incidents, which is described on those videos, where the one incident was just creepy anyway, because it was dark and, and everything. The other one was when I seen a bike at the other end, and I went into the tunnel the same time as the bike did the other end, and I heard the bike. I'd never once seen him. I rang my bell. You can hear it all. All you hear is like a whoosh. i never seen him. He didn't ring his bell. Uh, I don't know how close we were to crashing. Um, that was really creepy because as soon as I got out the other end, I tried to look through the tunnel to see if I could see the bike emerge at the other end. But I never did. So that's creepy, isn't it? There's ways out, you see, if you want to get out earlier. Bag that poo, we're watching you. <laughs> and of course, if you live local, look, it's just through here, there's another walk. I mean, I don't know where that takes you. That could take you right the way up around to those woods there, for all I know. There's loads of walks. You can't get bored. There's not enough time once you retire either. There's certainly not time when you're studying and working to do all this. And of course the problem is once you retire, you have a window of opportunity and energy which you must take. You must take that. Because the old age thing, I think once it kicks in properly, you know, late 70s. Not for everyone, of course not. Some people look at David Bowie, he's dead already, 69, he's gone. So it does vary. I mean, I might not make it to 70 yet, who knows? So basically, do it now. Don't wait for a rainy day. Very close now to Winscombe. I've got plenty of time, and I am going to have my muffin. It's almost a treat for the last bit. So this can be walked. It would be a long walk if you did the Yatton bit as well. It's quite a long cycle when you do the whole lot. I've done it all. I've been there and back. I've come as far as with Daisy, which was smaller. We went from Yatton to um, Sanford Rip Museum. She did very well and she had to go back. She liked it as well. We had a good time, you know. 
I want to do it again with them, but at the moment I'm taking it a bit steady. You know, because there's, because of what they said. I'll find out after the scans have all been I, um, interpreted and assessed. I mean, I feel alright today. I did have a bit of a tight chest, but that, I think that was anxiety and worry about what they were doing to me. That was scary, that stress test where they deliberately give you a drug to speed your heart up. And they almost gave me a bloody heart attack. That was scary. I don't think I would let them do that again. I don't think I will. Right, now over there is our Crook's Peak, which I did about a week and a half ago. Or nearly two weeks ago, put it that way, really. There's Crook's Peak. I identified the back of that earlier on the walk. Just shows how close we are to Winscombe now, once you start seeing that like that. And of course, I've done all the, that's, I've done all that side as well, Shoot Shelf Hill that is. That'll take you over to Shipham and Row Barrow. Over that way, I can see Row Barrow trees, the big tall pine trees on the hills over there. I'll just zoom in a minute so we can see. And a church, I'm not quite sure which church that is. It could be St. Leonard's actually, I can see. I'll just zoom in on that church. That might be St. Leonard's of Shipham. Yeah, I think that's St. Leonard's of Shipham. Don't think it's Robero one. That might not be seen. But further up, see those trees? That's Robero. Of course, I've done all that. I did that last year as well. Can't get bored. I'm going to turn off now. Someone's coming. Over and out.